Beijing Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Beijing Cuisine, also known as Jing Cuisine and Mandarin Cuisine, and as Beeping Cuisine in Taiwan, is the local cuisine of Beijing, the national capital of China. As Beijing has been the capital of China for centuries, its cuisine is influenced by culinary traditions from all over China, but the style that has the greatest influence on Beijing cuisine is that of the eastern coastal province of Shandong. Beijing cuisine has itself, in turn, also greatly influenced other Chinese cuisines, particularly the cuisine of Liaoning, the Chinese imperial cuisine, and the Chinese aristocrat cuisine. Background History Another tradition that influenced Beijing cuisine is the Chinese imperial cuisine that originated from the emperor's kitchen, which referred to the cooking facilities inside the Forbidden City, where thousands of cooks from different parts of China showed their best culinary skills to please the imperial family and officials. Therefore, it is sometimes difficult to determine the actual origin of a dish as the term Mandarin is generalized and refers not only to Beijing, but other provinces as well. However, some generalization of Beijing cuisine can be characterized as follows, foods that originated in Beijing are often snacks rather than main courses, and they are typically sold by small shops or street vendors. There is emphasis on dark soy paste, sesame paste, sesame oil, and scallions, and fermented tofu is often served as a condiment. In terms of cooking techniques, methods relating to different ways of frying are often used. There is less emphasis on rice as an accompaniment as compared to many other regions in China as local rice production in Beijing is limited by the relatively dry climate. Many dishes in Beijing cuisine that are served as main courses are derived from a variety of Chinese halal foods, particularly lamb and beef dishes, as well as from Huayang cuisine. Huayang cuisine has been praised since ancient times in China and it was a general practice for an official traveling to Beijing to take up a new post to bring along with him a chef specializing in Huayang cuisine. When these officials had completed their terms in the capital and returned to their native provinces, most of the chefs they brought along often remained in Beijing. They opened their own restaurants or were hired by wealthy locals. The imperial clan of the Ming dynasty, the House of Zhu, who had ancestry from Jiangsu province, also contributed greatly in introducing Huayang cuisine to Beijing when the capital was moved from Nanjing to Beijing in the 15th century, because the imperial kitchen was mainly Huayang style. The element of traditional Beijing culinary and gastronomical cultures of enjoying artistic performances such as Beijing Opera while dining directly developed from the similar practice in the culture of Jiangsu and Huayang cuisines. Chinese Islamic cuisine is another important component of Beijing cuisine, and was first prominently introduced when Beijing became the capital of the Yuan dynasty. However, the most significant contribution to the formation of Beijing cuisine came from Shandong cuisine, as most chefs from Shandong province came to Beijing and Massey during the Qing dynasty. Unlike the earlier two cuisines, which were brought by the ruling class such as nobles, aristocrats and bureaucrats, and then spread to the general populace, the introduction of Shandong cuisine began with serving the general populace, with much wider market segment, from wealthy merchants to the working class. The Qing dynasty was a major period in the formation of Beijing cuisine. Before the Boxer Rebellion, the food service establishments in Beijing were strictly stratified by the Food Service Guild. Each category of the establishment was specifically based on its ability to provide for a particular segment of the market. 
The top-ranking food service establishments served nobles, aristocrats and wealthy merchants and landlords, while lower-ranking food service establishments served the populace of lower financial and social status. It was during this period when Beijing cuisine gained fame and became recognized by the Chinese Culinary Society, and the stratification of the food service was one of its most obvious characteristics as part of its culinary and gastronomic cultures during this first peak of its formation. Zhuang the official stratification was an integral part of the local culture of Beijing and it was not finally abolished officially after the end of the Qing dynasty, which resulted in the second peak in the formation of Beijing cuisine. Meals previously offered to nobles and aristocrats were made available to anyone who could afford them instead of being restricted only to the upper class. As chefs freely switched between jobs offered by different food service establishments, they brought their skills that further enriched and developed Beijing cuisine. Though the stratification of food services in Beijing was no longer affected by imperial laws, the structure more or less remained despite continuous weakening due to the financial background of the local clientele. The different classes are listed in the following subsections. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Zhuang, or Zhuang Zihao, were the top-ranking food service establishments, not only in providing foods, but entertainment as well. The form of entertainment provided was usually Beijing opera and food service establishments of this class always had long-term contracts with a Beijing opera troupe to perform on-site. Moreover, food service establishments of this class would always have long-term contracts with famous performers, such as national treasure class performers, to perform on-site, though not on a daily basis. Food service establishments of this category did not accept any different customers on a walk-in basis, but instead, only accepted customers who came as a group and ordered banquets by appointment, and the banquets provided by food service establishments of this category often included most, if not all tables, at the site. The bulk of the business of food service of this category, however, was catering at customers' homes or other locations, and such catering was often for birthdays, marriages, funerals, promotions, and other important celebrations and festivals. When catering, these food service establishments not only provided what was on the menu, but fulfilled customers' requests. Tang Food service establishments categorized as Lang Zhuangzi lacked any rooms to host banquets, and thus their business was purely catering. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Tang, or Tang Zihao, are similar to food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Zhuang but the business of these second-class food service establishments were generally evenly divided among on-site banquet hosting and catering. Food service establishments of this class would also have long-term contracts with Beijing opera troops to perform on-site, but they did not have long-term contracts with famous performers, such as national treasure class performers, to perform on-site on regular basis. However these top performers would still perform at food service establishments of this category occasionally. In terms of catering at the customer's sites, food service establishments of this category often only provided dishes strictly according to their menu, and would not provide any dishes that were not on the menu. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Ting or Ting Zihao are food service establishments which had more business in on-site banquet hosting than catering at customers' homes. For on-site banquet hosting, entertainment was still provided, but food service establishments of this category did not have long-term contracts with Beijing opera troops, 
so that performers varied from time to time, and top performers usually did not perform here or at any lower-ranking food service establishments. For catering, different food service establishments of this category were incapable of handling significant catering on their own, but generally had to combine resources with other food service establishments of the same ranking to do the job. Ting Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Yuan, or Yuan Zihao did nearly all their business in hosting banquets on site. Entertainment was not provided on a regular basis, but there were stages built on site for Beijing opera performers. Instead of being hired by the food service establishments like in the previous three categories, performers at food service establishments of this category were usually contractors who paid the food service establishment to perform and split the earnings according to a certain percentage. Occasionally, Food service establishments of this category would be called upon to help cater at customers' homes, and like food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Ting, they could not do the job on their own but had to work with others, never taking the lead as food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Ting could. Yuan Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Lu, or Lu Zihao did the bulk of their business hosting banquets on site by appointment. In addition, a smaller portion of the business was in serving different customers on site on a walk in basis. Occasionally, when catering at customers' homes, food service establishments of this category would only provide the few specialty dishes they were famous for. Lu Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Ju, or Ju Zihao generally divided their business evenly into two areas, serving different customers on-site on a walk-in basis, and hosting banquets by appointment for customers who came as one group. Occasionally, when catering at the customers' homes, food service establishments of this category would only provide the few specialty dishes they were famous for, just like food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Lu. However, unlike those establishments, which always cooked their specialty dishes on location, Food service establishment of this category would either cook on location or simply bring the already cooked food to the location. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Zai, or Zai Zihao were mainly in the business of serving different customers on site on a walk in basis, but a small portion of their income did come from hosting banquets by appointment for customers who came as one group. Just like food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Ju, when catering at customers' homes, food service establishments of this category would also only provide the few specialty dishes they are famous for, but they would mostly bring the already cooked dishes to the location, and would only cook on location occasionally. Ju. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Fang, or Fang Zihao. Food service establishments of this category generally did not offer the service of hosting banquets made by appointment for customers who came as one group, but instead, often only offered to serve different customers on site on a walk in basis. Food service establishments of this category or lower would not be called upon to perform catering at the customers' homes for special events. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Guan, or Guan Zihao. Food service establishments of this category mainly served different customers on site on a walk in basis, and in addition, a portion of the income would be earned from selling to goes. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Diane, or Diane Zihao. 
food service establishments of this category had their own place, like all previous categories, but serving different customers to dine on-site on a walk-in basis only provided half of the overall income, while the other half came from selling to-goes. Food service establishments with name ending with the Chinese character PU, or PU Zihao. Food service establishments of this category ranked next to the last, and they were often named after the owner's last names. Food service establishments of this category had fixed spots of business for having their own places, but not as large as those belonging to the category of Diane, and thus did not have tables but only seats for customers. As a result, the bulk of the income of food service establishments of this category was from selling to-goes, while income earned from customers dining on-site only provided a small portion of the overall income. Food service establishments with names ending with the Chinese character Tan, or Tan Zihao. The lowest ranking food service establishments without any tables, and selling to goes was the only form of business. In addition to name the food stand after the owner's last name or the food sold, these food stands were also often named after the owner's nicknames. Zai Numerous traditional restaurants in Beijing are credited with great contributions in the formation of Beijing cuisine but many of them have gone out of business as time went by. However, some of them managed to survive until today, and some of them are Fang Guan Diane Piu Tan Notable dishes and street foods Meat and poultry dishes Fish and seafood dishes Noodles Pastries Vegetarian Restaurants known for Beijing cuisine